morning, Abby. It's Wednesday, and on a side note, Hope's gonna be filling in for me? I didn't know that. How exciting. There have not been any problems with my dad, so yay. And also, I would just like to give a shout out to my old literacy teacher, Ms. Kephart, because on my Monday video, she left a very beautiful comment wishing my dad well. So thank you, Kephart. Today, we're going to talk about art, and when I say art, I should clarify that I mean, like, drawing, not, like, sculpting or musical composing or writing or any of the other various art forms that exist in our society. So there's a person who exists and his name is Ezra Weiss and if you've watched the Rye English dubs of the Winx Club movies you will probably recognize his voice because fun fact he actually voices King Orotel in those movies for some reason. I don't know. He's a good Orotel. The what he's more famous for is that he has a YouTube channel it's called Ezra. I will leave a link to it. And then second he is also happens to be the director of the English voice cast for Miraculous Ladybug and he is doing this thing that is really really exciting where if you send him Miraculous Ladybug themed fan art he will literally hang it in the studio where they record the voices for Miraculous Ladybug. <sighs> I don't consider myself to be a very good artist but I mean it, I want it would be cool if the Miraculous Ladybug voice cast could see my art so I'm considering sending them art I have not decided if I'm actually going to yet but I am I have drawn it so that's something. Oh, I'm sending them free pieces. They're all uncolored right now, but I felt like I should, I could give you guys a sneak peek. This is my beautiful fan art of Chloe Bourgeois. In case you've been living under a rock since 2003, this fan art is referencing the movie Mean Girls. It just occurred to me that even though this video is supposed to be about art and drawing, I am really bad at art and drawing. When I first started, like, drawing, I was obsessed with making everything look exactly how it looks in my head. But the thing is, all representations of a thing are inherently abstract. Cecine pas en pipe. In the world of art and especially cartoons, nothing looks like it should in real life. Whether it is because humanity likes to glorify itself and make itself look better than it actually is, or maybe because humans are straight up weird. What people look like on paper is completely different than what they look like in real life. I mean, on paper, people have huge heads and eyes and their hair doesn't stick up all crazy. And knowing and accepting that fact has made me so much more easier eager to draw things than I was before, even if it's horrible human beings like Chloe Bourgeois. Let me tell you something about Marinette Dupin Shang. We're best friends in middle school. I know, right? It's so embarrassing. I don't even... Whatever. So then, in 8th grade, I started going out with my first boyfriend, Kyle, who is totally gorgeous. Then and I blew him off for Adrian, because I mean, Adrian. And Marinette was, like, weirdly jealous of him. Like, if I would blow her off to hang out with Kyle, she'd be like, why didn't you call me back? And I'd be like, why are you so obsessed with me? So then, for my birthday party, which was an all-girls pool party, I was like, Marinette, I can't invite you because I think you're a lesbian. I mean, I couldn't have a lesbian at my party. There were gonna be girls there in their baby. I mean, right? She was a lesbian. So then her mom called my mom and started yelling at her. It was so stupid. And then she dropped out of school because no one would talk to her. And she came back in the fall for high school. And all of her hair was in, like, these weird little pigtail bun things. And she was totally weird. And I guess now she's, like, a superhero or something. Like, I don't even know. Question of the day. If you are an artist, do you, like, have any advice or stories that you want to share? And when I say if you are an artist, I mean if you are Ben. Because Ben, I know you are in the comments and the only way to get you to appear is to say your name so i am saying your name ben and i expect a comment on art I'm waiting, ben. and if you are not an artist what is your favorite quote from mean girls because good lord that movie has so many good quotes <laughs> abby i hope you don't get hit by a bus today because i really 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 want to see you tomorrow i'm waiting ben